appliances. From built-in refrigerators and dual fuel professional ranges to speed cooking wall ovens, Monogram offers as many tools as there are techniques for creating inspired meals. Linden's Wonder Mop has microfiber grip strips to lift and lock dirt. And when you're done, don't toss it, wash it. Lidman is proud to sponsor everyday food. If you have extra broth or tomato paste, transfer the remainder to ice cube trays and freeze. Once frozen, pop the cubes into receivable plastic bags. And they got their collars off freezer. again. You'll have a convenient amount whenever you need it. Two easy ways to make the most flavorful chicken. Are First time eating it. old Mother Hubbard treats. And watching the cooking show. Is a great way to add different flavors using the dry what are you doing? Oven. Hi. So we're going to roast the chicken with juicy hey. lemons and slightly sweet slices of fennel. Braising uses moist heat in the pot. Our what? best chicken will be sweet and dark with dates and ginger. Yeah. It is really one of the easiest things that you can make. That away she goes. I make one every single week for my kids. And we eat it at least one night and then usually add some leftovers. So don't be afraid of making one. This one gets a vegetable cooked around it, which is fennel. It's got a really sweet sort of anise flavor with these long stalks that are delicious. Save them and put them into some of your salads. Put the fennel into wedges, removing a little bit of the core. Once you have all your fennel cut into wedges, just scatter it right around your chicken on your baking sheet. The chicken's about three and a half to four pounds. It's a really good size for roasting. It cooks very evenly in your oven and really quite quickly as well. Two lemons. Cut them in half. Save one half and then cut the rest into quarters. You don't have to remove the seeds. Just arrange them on your baking sheet with your fennel and those juices will really combine well together to make a nice pan sauce.